Hello, everybody. This is the D-Pad. I'm Rick. And I'm Peter. And this is Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, where today we are challenging the Elite Four of the Sinnoh Pokemon League. Oh, boy. Emphasis on we. You can't see it, but I have my Switch in my hands. That's true, yes. You are, and I'm at the same spot. You're literally standing in the same exact position. In a Nuzlocke. Actually, I'm not going to let not you the look exact at the screen because I stepped forward. Ah, okay. It looked like the camera was a little tighter. It is. Uh, so let's do a quick sort by... Oh, neither of these are useful. Why not by type? There's so many more useful ways to sort these. I number type was or, one of the ways that they did. I think in Scarlet and Violet you can. Oh, okay. Name and number are, lit are literally the two least useful ways to sort these. Yeah. The TM number does not matter. No. You could argue that they try roughly to organize them in terms of like early game to late game, but it really doesn't apply that well. No. Uh, and then name is definitely like name is if you're trying to look for a, a specific TM that right. at least has some value. You're trying to browse for specific things. Yeah. For mm, coverages yeah. or for I'm mostly just trying to see what we've got on offer. Sunny day is something that could be used in tan in, in uh, um, concert with something, but I don't think it matters for any of my guys. No, because uh, I don't think anyone's got solar beam. The only grass move that's in here, I think, is Delmar with grass knot. Um, Akimbo might actually have something so too. That powers up all fire type moves, and yes. then Sunny Day has its special application to uh, Solar Beam. Yes, yeah. Um, or rather, it, Solar Beam has the caveat during Sun because there's other ways to do to to get sun harsh out there sunlight. Too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Swagger sharply raised up. Oh, it confuses. No, do not want that. Uh, strength at eighty, hundred. Honestly, pretty pretty. Like standard clutch kind of move. It's a pretty solid normal type move. There's other eighty one hundreds, but normal type is an interesting like solution to a bunch of problems. Yes. Um, so we'll keep that in the back of our back of our minds for a minute. Roost. Natalie already has. So Natalie also is in a position to potentially stall a bit. Natalie's not very defensively bulky though, so that isn't something that is like like that's more for John battles than for anything else. But there are some cases where, in an emergency, Natalie may be able to roost her way out of a bad situation. Yeah. Uh, payback. The only person who can learn it is way too fast for it to ever be useful. Uh, nasty Plot is already on Delmar, which, honestly, his special attack is already nasty as shit. So if I have the opportunity to boost it further, then that could start steamrolling through stuff. Yeah. Um, He's pretty fast. So unless you come up with something, come up against something that is really fast, then yeah. like a couple of times on nasty plot, followed by, it's really a matter of going up against someone who I who does not have a strong ghost or dark move or bug move. I think those would be the three strong bug moves are very rare. So that's at least a little right. Um, U turn for seventy hundred is already on Natalie. Dazzling gleam eighty hundred is a good move. An extra fairy move out there against uh, especially Cynthia really wouldn't be the worst call. It's also special. Yep. Let's see what, see what Delmar got. has. Yeah. Um, yes. Huh. Grass not for heavy opponents. Yeah. You might replace that for more reliable number. Maybe. Grass not is like, it's so good for just beefy dudes especially what like beefy water and maximum dudes. power that's a good question i think it does get reasonably high i want to say it's like past 100 um psychic is staying obviously nasty plot and recover having both of these might be a little bit much it's really the question of whether recover or nasty plot is the one that needs to go so grass not does as much as 120 okay all right so not bad. I'm really only ever using it in situations where it's super effective or the person I'm fighting is very heavy. Yeah. Because, like, Psychic with Stab will always be better than Grass Knot in terms of special attack. But if it's a Dark Pokemon, uh, I think a Steel Pokemon, then Grass Knot would... I guess I guess Grass Knot against a, a Steel Pokemon would do still less because Steel also resists Grass, if I recall correctly. Steel is frustrating. Yeah. Um, all right, so Dazzling Gleam onto one of these. So let me think about this a little bit more, too. I don't want to make any, like, super decisions because we may also want to make decisions as we go because I can make modifications before... The I can make modifications... Champion, yeah, right, in between Exactly. Fights. There, I, I may even have the chance to do it before this first fight 
Because I still don't know who is first. My guess is Ronald McDonald, but it could be anybody. It's not Ronald McDonald. I also the first had, of the Elite Four is not Ronald McDonald. Ah, uh, boo. I also made... i got to pull this up because I, I was writing down my thoughts. Eh, oh, my God. Is it not going to drag? Are we going to be... Is it really going to... Oh, my God. There we go. I have a, I have a window that's being... And a special pain in the ass right now. So yeah, you, you had some thoughts. I had some thoughts. I, I made some guesses. So I did not look up any of this. These are just me taking a swing in the dark. So our gym leaders, assuming I got these correct, were Rock Steel, Bug Fighting, Water Ghost, Ice Electric. I believe were our eight uh, gym leaders. Bug might have been Grass. I, I don't remember the one who has. She was the one who had the orange hair with the black buzz going on underneath it. Hmm. Uh, I forget the names. I was just going. I literally opened up my badge case and was actually let's let's just go and look at that for a quick second here. Okay. Trainer card, and badge case, badges. Yeah, the second one there. I can't remember if that was. Whoop! Can I just look at the at the? Yes, at the case. Urgh. Few badges. Close cases A. Oh, there we go. Close cases A. I couldn't remember if she was grass or bug. So that green looks like the very green green of grass, not the like. Faded yellowy green, olive green of bug. Yeah, because like I had I had written it down, but I guess also they do kind of look like three leaves in the thing too. So maybe she is grass. Yeah. Um, I straight up don't remember. It's been years at this point since that fight. So, yes. um, but we've got rock on the top left, steel bolt down to the right of that. Fantina's ghost. We got crash awake as water. Uh, whatever her name is up there is fighting, I believe. And we have ice and electric. Uh, so let's go with grass instead of bug. So. I had my assumptions of that. We know that I assume that one of them is fire. The guy with the big afro, I'm pretty sure, is a fire guy. He is. Um, He's not subtle about it. Yeah. Cynthia, I have written down as a dragon type trainer. She kind of is, kind of isn't. She has a, a bit more variety to it than she's, just that. She's really a well-rounded trainer. Yeah. Although I suppose she is taking up the mantle of dragon in a way. Yeah, exactly. So I don't expect that there is a separate dragon elite four member because she is also there. So the ones that I had written down as possibilities here were psychic, drag, uh, psychic, dark, and grass. But obviously, grass being in there wouldn't really work. The reason why, so the other ones that aren't in there, flying, poison, ground, and normal were ones that I'm like, normal seems a little bit weird for an elite four member, especially. Yep. Um, fairy was not a type yet, so they weren't gonna add that in here as a as an elite four member unless they made the one and only change to the whole fucking game that significant. Um, flying, poison, and ground. I think. Sun and Moon was the first time there was a flying type Elite Four member with Kahili, and I think that was kind of a big deal of like, oh, this is her doing that for the first time. So really, it would come down to Poison Ground and uh, uh, Bug, I guess, as the as the third ones that are in there. And just kind of looking at the type, so if there is Fire, we'll say Psychic, uh, Dragon, maybe Dark. It'd be weird if poison was in there along with those. So, like, I feel like dark or poison might be a possibility for one. Okay. Out of those that are left, I could see ground maybe being... Ground feels weird for an Elite Four one also, though. So I don't really know. I don't I don't know. I think if, if they were trying intentionally to spread them out, I could see, like, fire... Uh, maybe even dark over psychic, actually. So, like, fire, dark flying and ground maybe for like a fairly diverse set of four could be interesting yeah but yeah so i don't have a whole lot of like definitive yeah this is what i need yeah this is going to be probably the longest of the non cynthia episodes of this by the way as i uh, uh logic my way through tm stuff yeah I, I may not even make any changes yet that's probably smart yeah like you know face one thing, start ticking more decisions off of what might be left. Yeah. Make uh, choices before you step into the next rooms. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Because Elite Four usually engages you when you enter. E uh, sometimes. I feel like they usually let you talk to them to initiate most of the time. I remember at least once there was a time when it was like, all right, get all, get all of your prep work done before you step into the door. I think in Gen 1 the champion you had to fight. You had to fight blue the moment, like, you just walk in and you start the fight, basically. Right. Um, trying to decide whether 
Oh, 80 never misses is maybe more valuable than 90, 100. Um, Thunderbolt would be good against water, flying. <clears throat> Actually, is that it? Electric is good for water and flying, and I think that is everything. Ice would be good for flying. I resist water. No, water is a steel. I got that wrong. I, I would also resist it as a dragon, though. These are both stab. This is the same. It may freeze instead of para instead of paralyze. I think I'm going to... Ice Beam is more valuable because of dragon stuff if Akimbo has to come out. I guess uh, well, Dragon Pulse is also there, but if I'm fighting, say, Gardevoir... Uh, Gardevoir. Garchomp, then uh, Ice Beam is way too useful. Yeah. Um, well, you punch. definitely want that to stick around, though. Yes. Uh, dra right, Drain Punch. A physical move, a physical fighting move that Alakazam can learn for some fucking reason. Very annoying, because it's physical, and Delmar is not good at that. Right. He could learn it, and he could heal himself for half the damage he does, but he's yeah. not going to do a lot of damage. Yep. What does George Dude have? Ooh, Fire would be an interesting... Good uh, grass counter. Yep. Stealth Rock, I legitimately want for the fire fight. Just to immediately have any of those Pokemon that are fire types take at least a quarter of its health and damage, if not a half. Interesting. Would be really fucking good. Okay, so what about Stone Edge versus Flamethrower? Yeah, so Stone Edge, man. 180. 180 is really bumming me out. Earthquake will be much better for like just fire types, but if there's any fire... I guess at this point in time, there wasn't a lot of fire flying that wasn't just Charizard or Moltres, which right. really shouldn't be in here at all. No. Um, and yeah, I don't know how many fire... I don't think there's any fire levitator dudes at this time either. Stone Edge, critical hits land more easily, but if I'm missing... <coughs> if I'm missing... One in five times. That's a really risky. Right. Well, I maneuver. mean, you're currently holding the zoom lens so that you're only missing one. Uh, That's true. Four in a four. No, two in a hundred times. Something like that. Yeah, I forgot about that. Unless they changed it to a flat twenty or whatever. No, I think the zoom lens makes that a much different thing. And also, this is special, which George Dude has no capa capacity for at all. Oh yeah, no. That's so we got bail on this. Strength. Yeah. If it was like Fire Fang or something, it'd be a different story. Right. Trick Room. No. No, that's gonna be that's, that's gonna confuse me more than anything. That's that's like just messing around with speed business. Yeah, uh, defog uh, blows away barriers. No bug buzz ninety hundred. Nobody can learn. Brine will do double power at when they're at half, which feels a little strange. But yeah, it's when they're under half, it does double power. So it yeah. means that it turns a four hit KO into a three hit KO, but it doesn't affect a one or two hit KO. Right, exactly. So that's that's. Probably not gonna be, gonna be super useful for us there. Grass knot, Pippa can learn, Shadow Claw, Ghost type, uh, Crits can land more easily. Eh, Akimbo is entirely special focused. Pippa seventy one hundred. All right, what do you currently have? Flash Cannon is staying. Special attack is actually better than physical anyway. Earthquake is a pretty good coverage move just in general. Uh, Surf, obviously, is really solid, and it's special, and Ice Beam, I don't think I can justify Shadow Claw here. No. All right. Poison Jab, nobody. Skill Swap, changes abilities. It's weird. That's a really specific use case. I don't think I want to get into that one. Physical Steel, accuracy is low. No. Flash Cannon, everybody got that. Rock Climb. Eh, 90, 85. Not great. Hail. Uh, I don't even have any ice types, so this is just a bad idea. Right. Focus Blast. Oh, oh. man, if I had a lens on Delmar, this would go up to, I think, 84%, which is at least better. But, like, uh, that's that's still not a great... That still seems like a too big of a risk, even for a 120. Yeah. Psychic Bulldoze is not as good as Earthquake, and everybody else there knows Earthquake. Yeah, the only thing that's good about it is it lowers speed as well. Yeah. Everybody can learn rest, um, but they go to sleep is the problem. Yes. Swords dance. Pip is more special oriented anyway. Double team could be really cheesy. Evasiveness. I mean, evasion tanking is a thing. Yeah. 
Honestly, George Dude with a double team would be kind of a hilarious way to dog walk some of these guys. Throw out... Uh, throw out uh, um, double team so he dodges more often than just heal him to full anytime he gets hit. Yep. So that he can't get KO'd. Pretty much. Oh, that's a pretty good one. So, all right. We got we got the fairy move up top and double team on George Dude, maybe. Stone Edge is... Stone Edge is... Uh, just, it's very... With the zoom lens, it's pretty close to 100%, which makes it right. really useful. Earthquake isn't going anywhere. Stealth Rock may be less useful, but also, if especially if we're lucky enough to be fighting a fire and a flying set of enemies, then Stealth Rock could actually be really good for some early setups there. Mm, 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 mm. I'll think about that one. Avalanche on Pippa... No, Pip is not. I don't think Pip is amazingly fast, but this is still. Actually, that might not be the worst on there. I think Ice Beam is still just going to be a more reliable one. Let's take a let's take a look at the speed here. Right, speed is one oh nine. Not that fast, actually. Not very fast, so more likely to be going second. So that does make it effectively one twenty oh, in physical. physical. Uh... You're better at special by a, a good clip. Yeah. That's probably still better. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Blizzard. I don't like the low accuracy. accuracy. Rock polish sharply raises speed. Eh, I don't think I care about that that much. Recycles a held item. Don't care. Taunt. Can only make them attack, which is honestly kind of worse most of the time. Rock slide 75, 90. Brick break 7,500. Focus punch. Wait. Focus Blast. I was like, wait, we already looked at that. And also, wait, what was the other fighting one? There was another... Drain, Drain punch. punch. Drain Punch, Focus Blast, Focus Punch. Three separate fighting moves. <laughs> hello, gentlemen. Oh, hello. my God. Hello. It's a Jeffrey. It is I. I see we're looking through TMs. We are. Or TRs or whatever they're called. TMs. Oh, these are TMs, TMs. still. That's right. Uh, they, are, they are the same as modern TRs, though. They break after, after use. Oh, right. Tomar with the Focus Punch would be good, except, again, his fighting... His fighting stats are just not good. Right. No, his physical is or garbage. Or his physical, rather. Water who, who pulse. Are we on to at this point? Or are you just looking through I'm all just, of them? I'm just doing About a quick browse to through. Okay. To the door for the final four. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I knew EE4 was coming up. I just wasn't sure if we're... Fire Blast. Fire Blast is special, which, again, is not George Dude's best thing. Uh, X-Scissor on Natalie. That's a pretty common one for Natalie, honestly. But I think U-Turn is going to be a little more useful and I think it's 70 mm. 100 or something it, it, so like I believe it is 70 100 I think 100. it's 60 100 well, yeah. it's still same it's still with a pretty good switch. hit it's and that's a, yeah and that's the thing is like it's Volt close switch enough is 70. to this I just that like use, I just was just looking at that oh um, then it might be 70 um dream eater delmarb they got to be asleep scald may burn which is kind of nice it's an interesting bit of flavor on a water otherwise water move yeah, I think in my surf, other though? save file my Empo empoleon had scald as one of its moves Surf is 90, Scald is 80. Yeah, uh, Surf, burn. Surf is just a good It might be move. worth it. It might be worth dropping it for chances of burning Pokemon. Yeah, May burn is very nice, especially because in this game, unlike in Arceus, as far as we could tell, yeah, burning it does stick around. cut uh, and attack will in cut half. physical attack in half, yeah. I forget. Yeah. I mean, we're not doing double battles. To my knowledge, none of these are double battles. No. They're not. And because that would also be, I think Surf hits everybody. It does. Yes. So, like, that would be good for that. It but doesn't hit your no, friends. It's all enemies. It's all enemies. Yeah. Okay. No, I think Surf hits everybody else on the field. Really? Is it also including your allies? Hmm. I think I'm going to go for it. But there, aren't, gonna, there are no double battles. So, right. I think I'm going to do Scald over Surf just because the, the minus 10 power is like a bit of a bummer, but also getting the chance at a burn. Honestly, even getting one hit on that could make a could make or break a battle. Yeah, I I could see that. It won't be useful against the fire guy whenever that comes up. So maybe what I'll right. do, I will keep scald in the back of my head. We will see who we're up against first, and that will that will determine a couple of a couple of these things. Yeah, I mean, it, with scald with how well. difficult this crew is, hoping for the chance of a burn isn't bad. But the fact it's only ten power less, I like. I'm I'm not yeah. I'm not strong one way or the other. Right. 
Waterfall's good if it's a fast Pokemon. Yeah, my only Pokemon that can learn it is more special, special oriented, and no. that's actually worse than and is Surf anyway. Your slowest, and I Pippa's think, is not well. actually that fast. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, literally, yeah, Scald is special and exactly the same otherwise, and it may instead of making flinch, it may burn. Which, yeah, Stone Edge, uh, Stone Edge, that move kicks ass. That one's pretty good. Stealth Rock we have on George Dude. Can anybody learn Stone Edge? Uh, Akimbo, which feels like a weird... It feels like a not a good use of And George of Dude legendary. already has it. Yeah. And George Dude has it already. Yeah, yeah. I, George Dude was the one I was like, well, George Dude could really really mm. do some damage with that. Yes, and he does. Dark Pulse on Natalie may not be the worst idea. Whoop. <laughs> Pippa can't learn this. Don't do it. So Cross Poison is staying right where it is. Aerial Ace is also staying right where it is. Sixty never miss. Very useful against somebody who's trying to evasion you. Yep. Uh, U-turn is pretty useful for not throwing someone directly into damage for nothing. Right. For, like, get me out of here. And yep. also, yeah. And Roost, honestly, in the right circumstances, Roost could be fucking clutch. Like, having a, like, I'm, I might have too many healing things on my team is the, is the biggest thing. Uh, Delmar has Recover. We got Roost here. I think there might even be one more. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember. Um, Dark Pulse could be good against... The problem is, so it'd be good against Ghost. Yeah. But we had a Ghost Gym Leader. So Ghost is less likely unless we have a poison person here. Right. Uh, yeah, your it'd also be good against Psychic, but I don't want to be out against Psychics. Yes. Uh, just because I'm weak to Psychic. Correct. <laughs> right. It'd be good for coverage on Psychics. But again, Natalie going out against Psychic is like a last, that's a, that's a last resort scenario. Right. Yeah. In that instance, you just. You turn out of there unless you have no other choices, in which case you're probably boned. Yeah. Doesn't you turn have reduced priority? No. Uh, no. The ones the ones that switch out the uh, your opponent, like uh, Roar, will have will have reduced uh, priority. Because oh, that way you're not interrupting their attack. Thank you, baby. That smells so good. Oh, you have cheese still. Ah. We just got delivery of shaved steak. I'm going to flip this stuff over here. Uh, well. In a minute, it's fine. Oh yes. So I think I'm going to not touch them right now. I'm going to walk through the door to see who is up first, mm -hmm. and I think that will be the determining factor. All right. In any changes, can here, I just so. can I see your list of moves for all your Pokemon? Sure. Just page through it real quick. Yeah. I think I missed most of the beginning. Uh, check summary. Yeah. So we got George dude with a zoom lens. So that increases if the holder moves after its target moves. That's right. So if I'm slower, which you he are is. likely to be. He's also got sturdy. Oh, yeah. He's also got sturdy, so right. he's not going to get one hit killed by anything. So George Dude has Stealth Rock, which there's at least a fire type Elite Four member here. Mm -hmm. So that alone will be a quarter of a quarter of the health of anything that's not flying. Oh, also, it just taking a chunk out of anything that comes in exactly. is just useful. Well, I mean, one I thing to, to bear in mind is that this generation doesn't actually have enough fire Pokemon to fill out a team. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. So We're it won't still, be everybody. No. I think usually they're not everybody once they're at this point anyway, whether, like, even in the current generations. Yeah. Um, but even just taking out an eighth is still pretty nice. Um, earthquake. It's a classic. I got yep. Earthquake across half my team. Required. I'll steal, I'll steal some cheese. Yeah. Uh, this is the pepper jack. Ooh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think I think Earthquake is going to be just good in general. Yep. Gyro Ball for, for, I think that's based off of, um, is that off it's, of speed? Um, slower, yes. Yeah. So slower the user compared to the target. Yep. When, so, and you're coming in at 108, so that's pretty. Yeah. So that'll be that'll be pretty solid. Be there. like eighty or ninety power, I think. If it's unless the other thing is super slow, it really depends on. Yeah, it really depends on. Like I'm banking on this will be a good one for um, really speedy dudes. Which granted, for some of these ty for some of these dudes, they're going to be very fast. Yes. So, sure. and if I can keep him healed up or something, like there will be points where it's he's perfectly safe to take a hit. Oh, yeah. And then dole out Gyro Ball. That's so. your tank right there. Uh, Natalie, we got Cross Kay. Poison, Aerial Ace, Roost, and U-Turn. Classic. So a lot of, a couple trolling moves plus two really good stab Well, you just have moves. the the best poison move for Crobat, yep. and you have the best flying move that you can get. Yep. yep. And Along then Roost and U-Turn for, for Utility. Utility. Those are solid utility, utility yeah. yeah. 
She's got inner focus, so no flinching, and poison barb, so poison is going to be even stronger. Yep. So yeah, cross, cross poison is going to be kicking ass. Bread and butter. Uh, Akimbo, we got Aura Sphere, Ice Beam, Flash Cannon, and Dragon Pulse. Yep. Big scary moves for a big scary guy. Yep. All a bunch of special stuff because Akimbo's yeah, special and- is is significantly better than physical and got rid of its stupid yep. signature move because it is a cool like a recover move the, like yeah a, like a you have to recover for a turn move yeah. John oh was, it's a cooldown move yes yeah. John was kind of upset that his was a much lesser power but it's like dude you can use yours every without, turn yeah you can use yeah. it every turn I would rather have that you're not locked into sitting there yeah um, and also iron plate so flash cannon is going to be even bigger extra st- Strong, so Flash nice. Cannon is a good... Between the two of these, Flash Cannon is the better one to, to lean into uh, if there's no difference between them. Yep. Uh, we got Lucky, who is my least versatile one, but Volt Switch for more rapid switching. We got Thunder Wave for nearly guaranteed paralysis. Thunderbolt is a classic maneuver and crunch. Yep. Uh, this this is a... Uh, God, with a that's an acceptable moveset. I yeah. use uh, different it's not Luxray the for sure on my Luxray, but yeah. yeah. I don't have the... Lux rivalry is not the best ability, no. No, no. It, it could actually be a problem here. Shell Bell will help a lot. Uh, anytime you do damage, mm-hmm. it gets gets stuff back. And then we have Pippa, the starter, with Flash Cannon. Earth, Pippa's also primarily special-based. Uh, so we have our Water and Steel special stab moves. This might get swapped out for Scald for that burn power. Yep, but still good coverage. Okay. Ice Beam because we need ice coverage. We need uh, ice moves yeah. for coverage for, for later into this thing yep. for certain. And Earthquake, because it's just good, it's decent coverage stuff, mm-hmm. and, like, mm-hmm. it's just a big move. Uh, I believe Torrent. Yeah, so if Pippa gets in trouble, stuff's going to go up. And also a Chopple Berry, so a fighting move will fizzle on oh, the first one. Yep, it'll, okay. it'll do half the damage. We have Delmar with Mind Plate, so Psychic is powerful. Special attack is 221, and speed is 177, <sighs> even slowed down. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. He's so, a fast boy somehow. Fast motherfucker. And psychic just as absurd amounts of damage. Yeah. It's just so, a, a dangerous psychic move. Yeah. Yes. Uh, also has recover. Just like maybe. I don't know. It's it's not the word. Like I'm for debating sure. throwing out one of these for um, dazzling, I think, <laughs> dazzling Gleam later. I think I would get rid of recover for Dazzling Gleam personally. Because I have room for items. Because you have potions. Yeah. Well, and Delmar is also not a... Actually, that's a good point. S- yeah. Somebody who's going to hang around for too long in the battlefield. Hopefully it's going to be a... Like, if, if he's taking done. damage slow enough that you're like, oh, I could use Recover, then you can use Hyper Potion. Yeah, I have, I have a or lot a su- of... a Super Potion, even. Yeah. So recover, recover for him would recover 79 hit points, yeah, so which is less milk. than I have... 55, 66 things that will will do the same or better. Yeah. So I think we're, we should change out kind of all of our... Moomoo Milk is better than a recovery move on any of these Pokemon. I'm I'm kind of... Where Roost is good for if you want to still... If I want to cheese... Think about having... Flying type. Um, PvP type moves. Yeah. Or to drop your flying type for a turn. Yeah, recover is just... Now, granted, recover is rest without any of, ro- rest or roost without any of the like Effects. weird typing yeah. drawbacks, but also it makes it equivalent to just using an item. Right. Yes, I I think that well, and using an item is faster, faster, freer. I have got more of it than I've got recover. Yeah. And all of my items minus regular and super potions, I think, are going. Actually, no, just regular. Cause super is like one twenty now. Yeah. Right. Basically, everything's going to do more than that, so recover is going to go. Yeah, I think I think that's a, a safe replacement. In in terms of recovery moves, I'm like, I'm fifty fifty on them. In a lot of ways, the like, I know I'm I'm, I'm keep my <laughs> eye out for the cats surfing for my foods. Um, with with like recovery moves, I like sleep on Snorlax because yeah. you can work especially if you rest, rest chest rather or something. Yeah. Or even just rest and sleep talk or, or you know, just let Snorlax hang out for a little bit, put yeah. a Rocky helmet on, something like that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But some of the half health moves, in most cases, it's like it's not enough healing to really merit the turn. Yeah. It doesn't set anything up and only kind of heals. Unless you have a Pokemon with in like a situation 400 against, HP. What, yeah, in a tank versus tank situation, oh, whoop, nope, half no, no, no. heal is useful. Sure. Where you're yeah. where you're both just trying to outlast and you're like, well, using this PP means that they have to burn six more attacks. Yep. Yep. Uh, I'm very on the fence about losing Stone Edge or Gyro Ball with double team. 
because if I start a battle with double team... Stone Edge is a killer move. It threatens critical, and it's the rock type move. It and I've got, a, I've got a lens that will make it... If I'm slower, then it makes it essentially effective. 96. Odds yeah. are you will be able to dominate any flying type yeah, of or any type. kind that comes out. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, one in five visits to the Pokemon Center on average yeah. should result in one Stone Edge that doesn't work if you use up all your PP. So, <laughs> Gyro Ball can be a very powerful steel move. That said, I have both my starter and my legendary are steel type with stab. With stab on them. Yeah. I'm I wondering if this might be overkill for steel, and it might be... because if I So, my thought process is... And it's only five PP, and it's that not... That too. Yeah. If I start a battle with double team... I can't be killed in one hit unless some extremely weird circumstances play out. Yeah, uh, some uh, sl slashly technician could yeah. could kill you in one turn. That's true. With some, don't with, you have sturdy on him? Exactly. I've got sturdy, so it's got to be a multi hit. It's be move. a multi hit. Oh, oh. Or it's got to be a, a very powerful move that also burns or poisons. But I resist both of those types. So the the, the one thing that, that could be used. a legitimate problem here would be scald. scald. Yeah. Scald would be literally, I think, the one move that would be a real Water problem. and a burn will, will take you But I wouldn't put George Dude out against something that's likely to have no. that anyway. Yeah. My thought process being, if I double team, I can heal him up from one hit point very easily until somebody misses, which should not take long. I can throw out my Stealth Rock, heal up while, while they get back to whatever, and then either start rocking these moves or switch out and now... You know, there's. I, I guess I wouldn't want to switch out once double teams in well, there. But at that point, I can freely just start taking pot shots. That's at people. the thing. If you wanna, if you wanna roll with George, dude, then double team is not the worst idea. If you just start with him and set it up immediately, yeah. Or you find a matchup that can do nothing to him, well, so and you get the chance to throw in, you know, three double teams, and there we go. I'm also thinking like, so steel is Does good it against greatly re increase. Is it a two stage? For evasiveness, uh, I think, I think so. Is it is it greatly increased or just single increase? For which thing? Double team. For double team. Double team. Uh, oop, where's my controller? Uh, just regular. Evasive. So one okay, stage. So it's only one stage. So yeah, you would you would need. Uh, You'd have to do it six times to get to the point where things just basically can't hit you, and that's what. Um, it bring it down to one third, I believe. Tried to do. Tries to do. Yeah. With her. Um, Oh, with minimize, yeah, yeah. But granted, the trick there is if you have somebody with stomp or body slam, yeah. <laughs> automatic victory. Automatic. I think it's a one hit KO the second they use minimize. I think so. Yeah. If you if they are minimized, it's just an instant kill. Nice. Yeah. Drop some of this in here too. So yeah, I think I am going to switch in double team for gyro ball just because if I want to be using steel moves. There's no way that my starter or my legendary aren't going to be doing more significant damage there. Mm. Um, yeah, I, I, I think it's it's splitting hairs, but also you're right. You probably won't be using Gyro Ball on with with um, George Dude unless yeah. you have to have a neutral matchup. Steel is good against Rock, which I am ground with a ground move. It's good against. Fairy, which, like, I don't... I mean, George Dude is very neutral for most of that, so it's really not a big deal one way or the other. Right. Mm -hmm. And again, I've got my, ste I got my Steel Dudes, too. Um, the other thing about Gyro... Is ice, also, moves. which is a little trickier. So Gyro Ball is 25 times target speed divided by user speed. So At a cap of... At a cap of 150. Okay. But... But that takes some... You would need that to That takes be, something being... Six yes. times your speed, correct, and your speed is ninety. You so would you're have, not. That's the thing the about the best one for Gyro Ball. Gyro Ball is for like the slowest Pokemon in the world. Kind yeah. Of so, thing. Th like, so this would not, only be like fifty power off. Of exactly. This, more often than not. Maybe um, like seventy. If 80. their speed is two hundred yeah, and your speed Ball. is a hundred, it's only a fifty power move. Yeah. Gyro Ball's gone. Now, does the, it does it snap? So like as soon as it's over a hundred, it goes to three x, or is it just a straight multiple? No, I multiplier? believe <clears throat> I believe it's just calculated like num numerically. So, so it might be two twenty over power. ninety would be like two point four times twenty five. Correct. So it'd be like seventy ish. I, I don't know how it's rounded or how things are done that right. way. I'm gonna hold yeah. off on Scald for now because I know there's a fire trainer yeah. and his stuff is mostly gonna be unburnable. If there's something that is, like, the ground type is a possibility that might be in here. If that mm -hmm. happens, then Scald would be very useful. 
Um, and for others, yes and no. But yep. I think for now, I'm going to hold off on Skull. In in my opinion, I think you are generally well set up. The only I, I thing think that so, I'm, yeah. I'm also kind of questionable on is Grass Knot because of the same... Yeah. It has like the same mechanics as Gyro Ball, mm. where you have to use it against the heaviest Pokemon in the world for it to have like 100 power. I mean, but weights are a lot more wide. Yeah, there's a huge berth on that. Than, sure. Than ability power. I, so you can have a very lightweight Pokemon. I've looked it up and there's like, <clears throat> there's, you know, like 10 Pokemon that Grass Knot absolutely Does it use dominates. the same formula? Because the thing that I had read said that things over. 440.9 pounds take max damage. This, yeah, because this just is... Just regardless of the the user, of, you know, the using Pokemon. Yeah, Grass Nuts... I not, don't think the user matters at all. I think it's completely on... No, it's just... It's opponent. Yeah. Okay, so Pokemon that come in over 441 pounds. Yeah. Yeah, which it, is honestly going to be a lot of Pokemon at this This is stage. listed in kilograms, but... 220. So, or yeah. 200 is. If it's more than 50 kilograms... Then it's an 80 power move. If it's more than 100, it's 100. If it's more than 200, it's 120. Okay. And yeah, I mean it's it's I, not I as bad just, as Gyro Ball. That's yeah, why it's like Gyro, Gyro Ball, Ball. You got to really look at. I, yeah, yeah. You know. And you can do cool stuff like slow ass Pokemon that slow themselves down, and yes. then use Gyro yeah. Ball where you have like absurdly low like. I think Gyro Ball will also fuck with Trick Room too. I forget if Trick Room affects Gyro Ball, but I'm not doing Trick Room anyway. Yeah, yeah. I Who think knows. it makes sense to break this as its own episode, since yeah. we've now had is... over half an hour of, Ep of episode prelude. preparatory. Yeah. yeah, we might. Honestly, I'll probably put up two episodes today as you're seeing this, just so that it's not like you sat here for 40 minutes. Yeah. Me. I literally, my character has not moved yep. in this entire uh, more than double length episode. A lot episode. of thinking yep. and theory crafting, but it's, it's, it is done. Yeah, so when we come back next time, we're going in. There's nothing left to do. There's nothing left to do except for fight the Elite Four. All right. Acquired W.